Hello and welcome. In this video, we will show how you can perform a t-test using Excel. A t-test is a statistical tool in hypothesis testing to test the means of two groups of data when the variances are unknown. We assume that the underlying distributions of the datasets are normal. However, when our sample sizes are large enough, the shape of the sampling distributions will approach normality regardless of the variable's underlying distributions. Generally, we can speak of a large sample in these kind of settings when the sample size n is larger than or equal to 30. Under the null hypothesis, the test statistics follow the student's t distribution. On this sheet, we have 30 observations of the average resting heart rate of non-athletes and athletes. The question is whether or not there is a significant difference between these two. To test this, we state our null hypothesis H0 as the average heart rate of the athletes stated by new athletes equals the average heart rate of the non-athletes stated by new non-athletes. The alternative hypothesis is then mu athletes is not equal to mu non-athletes. To perform a t-test, we navigate to data and select data analysis. A menu opens where we scroll down to the t-test. We see that there are three different options to choose from. T-test paired to sample for means, T-test to sample assuming equal variances, and T-test to sample assuming unequal variances. To determine which T-test to use, we look at whether or not there is a relationship between the datasets, and we have to make the distinction based on the sample sizes and variances. When both groups of data are related, we select the first T-test. An example of this can be when the non-athletes and the athletes' data are of the same people, but after an intensive athlete's training, for example. The next case to distinguish is when we have equal or unequal sample sizes and similar variances. Then the t-test statistic is adjusted to take this into account. The final case is where we have equal or unequal sample sizes and unequal variances. In this case, Excel performs a Welsh test to find the correct t-statistic. To test whether or not the variances of the two populations of athletes and non-athletes are equal, we can make use of the f-test. This is explained in our Excel video on this topic. Here we have non-paired populations and variances that are significantly different from each other. We have tested this before using the f-test, so we select t-test to sample assuming unequal variances and press OK. A menu opens where we have to enter some data for testing. First, we need variable 1 range, which is the non-athletes data in range A3 till A32. Next, we need the variable 2 range, which is the athletes' data in range B3 to B32. We are testing if the means of both populations are equal, which is the same as saying that the mean difference is 0. So we fill in 0 as hypothesized mean difference. We did not include the labels in the variable ranges, so we keep this box unchecked. And we have to enter the level of confidence for our test. This is automatically set to 0.05 which corresponds to a 95% confidence level. This is a commonly used level, so we keep this. Finally, we choose where the output of the t-test should appear. We put it on the same sheet in cell D7 and press OK. The output table appears on the screen. The first half of this table summarizes the variables. We see the means, variances, and the number of observations. Next, we see the hypothesized mean difference the number of degrees of freedom of the t-distribution that is used, the value of the test statistic c, and the p-value and critical t-value for a one-tailed and two-tailed test. The difference between a one- and a two-tailed test is shown in more details in our videos on the one- and two-sample z-test in Excel. In short, a one-tailed test is where you are only interested in one direction. If a mean is x, you might want to know if a set of results is more than x or less than x. In a two-tailed test, we look at both ends of the distribution. Here we are interested in a two-tailed test as we are testing equality and not inequality in a certain direction. So we look at the bottom two figures in the table. We observe that the test statistics value is higher than the two-tailed critical t value. So we can conclude that the mean average heart rate of athletes is significantly different from that of non-athletes. Another way to conclude this is by making use of the p-value. The p-value for the two-tailed test is 0 0.00675. This value is smaller than our confidence level of 0 0.05. So we can conclude to reject the null hypothesis. 
This concludes our video on t-test in Excel. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software-related tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.